there's really only one one thing that can control everything and that's mother nature it's it's a pretty humbling experience to know that you're you're not in control you just have to deal with what you're what hand you're dealt I'm Jace Jensen. I farm in southeast Idaho with my dad, Brett Jensen. Uh, we raise barley, wheat, alfalfa, canola, oats, and potatoes. We have about 13,000 acres overall, spread out between three different counties. One of the biggest challenges is weather. We're always worried about the weather, what's gonna happen early in the year, and then, of course, what's gonna happen late in the year. Towards the tail end of harvest last year, there was a really extreme frost that we haven't, I've never seen, that it actually shut us, shut us completely down where the temperatures didn't, like, didn't get above freezing for three days, and there was still a substantial amount of spuds in the ground in this area. Luckily, before the frost hit, we had friends and neighbors that came and helped us get another portion of our farm done in Hamer, where the neighbors actually brought all their field equipment, all their trucks, cellar equipment, and it was just amazing to see, see the neighbors and friends coming out to help. So looking back from last year, this year it was uh, we had our eyes open and we definitely did not want to get caught in the same situation that we had. Our goal this year was to dig everything in two weeks. We have about 3,200 acres um, spread out over three counties. Going into harvest this year we just knew we had to be more efficient and we really relied on our equipment to perform how it was supposed to. It takes about 50 people for our operation to be able to function. But no matter what, on how efficient or how streamlined your equipment is, it's still, the bottom line comes down to your operators, your boots on the ground, everyone that comes out and helps. Without any of, without people that care about the spuds or about anything with the farm, we wouldn't be able to be here without the help. We raise spuds for three different distributors in our area. We have GPOD, 
Idahoan foods and high country potato. A lot of our spuds with GPOD end up in New York, which then get distributed to basically the whole East Coast. The Idahoan potatoes get made into the instant mashed potatoes that are shipped everywhere in the world. And then high country ships our potatoes wherever they're needed. So it's a really good feeling to know that we're being a part of feeding not only this nation, but everywhere. I grew up loving potatoes, loving potato harvest, and I think I always will.